Hi, Mr. Simone, Camden Middle School. Uh, for today, this is just an, an instructional video on how to uh, do fraction busters. Uh, many times we're, we're given equations that have fractional values in it. Uh, students tend to steer away from these, uh, but there are easy ways to manipulate uh, fractions and, and make uh, our equations a little bit easier to solve. Um, to do this, I've got a couple problems we're going to look at, and uh, one of the biggest things we have to understand is when looking at fractional values in a problem like this, or even like this one, we want to try to come up with the least common denominator, or lowest common denominator. We use that value, whatever that LCD uh, is, to end up uh, multiplying through the equation on both sides of the equal sign to try to eliminate the fractional look of, of the problem. Um, in the first one, our least common denominator is going to be 6, because 6 is uh, the value that you know, that they all can go into quite easily. We multiply both sides of our equal sign by this 6. And don't forget, when we look at 6, it's not only 6, but its fractional value is 6 over 1. So sometimes, you know, that, that's a confusing thing for some kids. But when we multiply by 6, we're actually multiplying by 6 over 1. So we're going to multiply 6 through on both sides. On this side, we're going to use the distributive property we end up with uh, 30 over 6x plus 42 over 6 equal to, and on the other side, because we multiply by 6 on one side, multiply by 6 on the other, you end up with 12 over 6. All right. Uh, at this step, um, this is where we end up simplifying our values. Uh, we're going to try and put our um, fractions in simplest form. So 36 is the same thing as saying 30 divided by 6, which is 5. So we get 5x plus 42 divided by 6 is 7. And lastly, uh, 12 over 6 is equal to 2. Once we get down to this step, you'll notice that we don't have any fractional values. Um, but because we multiply by 6 on both sides, uh, we did the same thing to both sides, so this is balanced. This is the same thing as this, which is the same thing as this. They're all considered equal. Uh, from this step, we just solve our equation. Um, you'll see this on some other videos that I post. Um, you know, and I'll kind of just go through this one quickly to, uh, to give you the answer here. So we subtract by 7 on both sides, and then to get x by itself, we're going to divide by 5. We end up with x equals negative 1. You can test this. Um, some students might try to test this by, by putting the negative 1 back into the fractional equation. You can do that if you'd like. Um, you can also just use our new modified version. All right. The second one over here, you're going to notice that our denominators, the values in our denominator, are slightly different. They're not all 6. We've got 2, 3, and 4. And we want to come up with the least common uh, denominator. So what do all these values go into? Um, some, some of my students uh, just multiply all the values together. You can do that. Um, in this scenario, our LCD is going to be 12. All right? It is the least common denominator. It's what 4, 3, and 2 all go into, but it's the least amount. Um, you can try other values. You could try you know, 24. Uh, 36 as well. You can multiply by all those things, but you're going to have to end up simplifying your, your answer at the end. All right, for this one though, uh, 12 is going to work. So kind of same, same process, we're going to multiply by 12 on both sides. All right, you're going to end up with uh, 60 over 2x plus 24 over 3 equal to 60 over 4. Now, for you, some of you that are kind of concerned or not really understanding what's happening here, we're basically just taking this 12 over 1 and multiplying it by all the terms. All right? And when you multiply fractions, the numerators get multiplied together, and so do the denominators. But since our denominator for 12 is 1, uh, that's why you'll see the 2, 3, and 4 stay constant on the bottom, but our top numbers are, are changing. So we simplify this down. All right? So you get 30x all right, plus 8 equals 15. 
And the same process as we did before, solving the equation, we're going to start by subtracting 8 on both sides. You get 30x equals 7. From this step, we have to get x by itself, so we're going to divide by 30 on both sides. Our answer ends up being 7 thirtieths. Now for my students, um, I allow them to leave your answer in fractional form. Just make sure that's simplified. All right, This is called a proper fraction. Sometimes our answers might become uh, improper. Um, as long as they're in simplest form, and, and that's fine. Okay, We don't need decimal values. We don't have to convert it to decimal or anything like that. Um, and it is kind of ironic that you know, we try to bust the fractions, and then we end up with an answer that is a fraction. Uh, I hope this video helps. Uh, I'm going to try and post a couple more examples of fraction busters for you. But uh, these are two kind of uh, basic forms that, that will help you. Thanks.